What is relative motion in friction? Motion of two bodies whose surface are touching each other with respect to each other. When we study motion of two interacting bodies whose surfaces are in contact with each other is called relative motion and frictional force is a contact force which opposes the relative motion between two bodies. Relative motion in friction examples. The friction among two objects that are in touch and traveling relative to each other is known as kinetic friction. There are various examples of friction discussed below. Kinetic friction hinders a hockey puck rolling on ice when attempting to slide a big crate over a concrete floor to keep moving anything once it starts moving. Kinetic friction hinders a hockey puck rolling on ice. Friction is the resistance that occurs when two entities move against each other. Heat is formed when something moves faster over a surface. As hockey professionals drive the puck forward, Friction generates a little amount of heat, slightly melting the ice and enabling it simpler for the puck to move. When attempting to slide a big crate over a concrete floor, you may find that you need to push more and more on the box until it finally moves. This implies that static friction reacts to your actions by increasing to the same level as and in a reverse way as the push. However, if you press hard enough, the container appears to slip and begin to move to keep moving anything once it starts moving. It is simpler to keep anything moving after it has begun, showing that the kinetic friction force is smaller as compared to the static friction factor. If we increase the weight of the container, such as by stacking a container on top of it, you will all have to work more to get it moving. Additionally, if we lubricated the concrete, getting the crate began and keeping it running would be much easier. Relative motion application. The same fundamental principles that apply while you are at resting on the ground govern if you will re in any frame of reference traveling at a steady velocity with regard to the ground. There are many applications of relative motion, like if one person is crossing road, he or she will estimate the speed of vehicles moving on road with respect to his or her own speed and then will cross the road according to the time in which vehicle will reach him or her. Similarly, one can calculate what time it will take for the speedier car to get up to the slow car by using the relative velocity of the two cars. We must deduct the velocity of the car we are witnessing from the speed of the other car in an effort to get the relative velocity of two cars. Did you ever observe a train that was stopped at a platform and noticed another train going forward? Although you were standing still, did you feel like you were traveling reverse? The going train, B, seems to be going at a velocity B distant to you, seated on the stop train, A, or to a person on the platform. Nevertheless, from the perspective of a passenger on the running train, the station and the halted train at the station appear to be traveling in opposing directions at the same speed, or, to put it a different way, with the contrary velocity. In all of these circumstances, we are re really calculating velocity compared to an observer. Frequently Asked Questions FAQs K's What has the distinction between relative motion and motion? ANS In reality, relative motion and motion are the same things. As you stated, motion is a change in position with regard to time, however, your concept of relative motion is incorrect. The change in position with regard to a point in space over time is known as relative motion. In reality, relative motion and motion are the same things. K's. What is the significance of relative distance? ANS. We rely on people in other areas for goods we need, thus distance and relative position are vital. Interconnectedness is the state of being reliant on others. They rely on us for some commodities and activities, and we rely on them for others. K's. Is it possible for relative distance to change? ANS. No, it is not possible. The term distance determines the distance between two objects. There is no such thing as relative distance, which you appear to be mixing up with relative velocity. In the actual world, distances between objects do not alter or depend on variations in frames of reference. K. 
Ks. Does friction resist motion or force? ANSF friction is the force that works opposing your pushing force. It is a force that opposes motion among two touch surfaces. Whenever you attempt to move two surfaces over each other, friction prevents you from doing so. Ks. Is it possible for static friction to create motion? ANSF friction does not result in movement. It is a mechanism that dissipates energy. To exceed the static friction threshold, additional energy must be added. Yes, friction helps animals and vehicles gain the traction they need to move. Please visit our website lambdageeks.com for more articles on technology, engineering, mathematics, and various other domains. Scientific calculator and many more other tools.